Hello everyone, my name is Ayer Salam. Today I will show you the way of calculating the rainfall resistivity factor. As you know, the rainfall resistivity factor is one of the components of the factor of the universal solids equation, which indicates how much the rainfall uh, can contribute for the soil region, or which indicates how much the single rainfall or rain, raindrop uh, can have the power to detach the soil surface and finally for uh, contributing for cellulose or soil erosion. So uh, by its nature, the rainfall erosivity factor is mainly dependent on the intensity and amount of the rainfall. So many scholars or many uh, researchers uh, use and follow different uh, calculation procedures for uh, determining the uh, rainfall erosivity factor of the uh, universal solid equation. On my today's video, uh, I will uh, calculate the rainfall erosivity factor by using the equation, which is uh, mainly appropriate for uh, my country, Ethiopia, which is developed by Forni, which is R equals to negative 8.12 plus 0 0.562 times the annual average uh, precipitation of the study area. So uh, for calculating uh, the rainfall residue factor, first uh, we need to have the precipitation data of the study area. And uh, it is better to uh, have the large amount of rain gauge site in the study area. If not, we can uh, use the rain gauge data uh, which is outside of the study area. So uh, for example, in uh, my case, here I prepare the uh, uh, rainfall data. Here I prepare the rain gauge data and the rainfall data uh, in this manner. Here I have uh, 10 uh, rain gauge uh, sites inside and outside of my study area and here i have the x coordinate point y coordinate point and precipitation data so after having those three uh, parameters here i can calculate the erosivity by using the equation uh, which is negative 8.12 my plus 0 0.562 times the annual average precipitation of the study area. So uh, those are the uh, rain gauge sites inside and outside of the uh, study area. And X and Y, finally, uh, I can calculate the erosivity factor. So after having this, uh, here we need to open the arc map. Then after opening the arc map, we need to add the uh, boundary map of the study area or the shape file of the uh, study watershed. So I find the study area. Here, this is my uh, study area or my uh, basin. So after opening uh, this boundary map, we directly go to the file and add data, then add XY data. Then we need to find the uh, meteorological station point and precipitation data. So here I saved the uh, erosivity precipitation and XY coordinate point data of the ring gauge sites uh, here. And here we need to select the appropriate sheet number and click on add and here specify the field for x y and z here uh, we need to specify the x field y field and z field so finally you can click ok and ok so uh, those are the point that we uh, collect the rainfall data so after having this we need to uh, convert into shape file so export and we can click OK. Then uh, 
do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer? Yes. Then I can click the sheet one or the point data. So here we have the shape file of the study area as well as the ring sites. So the remaining thing that we need to do here is the uh, interpolation or the calculation of the rainfall receivability factor by using the uh, location and meteorological or rainfall data of uh, the watershed which is inside and outside of the study area. So to do this we need to directly go to spatial analysis tool and go to interpolation then click on the inverse distance weighted interpolation which is the appropriate method for calculating the erosivity so go to uh, the input point feature which is the exported output data then here we need to specify the z field and the z field must be the erosivity value then we can click ok the interpolation or the inverse distance weighted interpolation process is wind up so uh, what is remained is extracting the watershed by erosivity value so to do this we need to go to extraction and extract by mask here the input raster must be the inverse distance with the shape file and the input raster or feature mask data is the boundary map of the watershed then the processing extent must be the same as with the watershed boundary so click ok and click ok then the extraction process is wind up so we can delete the point data and we can delete also the boundary map of the watershed and we can also delete the inverse distance weighted interpolation map then remove here is the erosivity map of the watershed here we can rename as erosivity erosivity value then we can make some amendment so to do this we need to go to property and we can classify into uh, different uh, classes uh, according to our interest if we want to classify into uh, three we can click three and if we want to change the color of the map we can click here and we can also uh, classify the value here we can edit the value for example we can make 700 click ok we can classify into um, six group for example and we can click ok the, this is the erosivity map of our study area so we can use this map as one of the factor of universal soil loss equation for calculating the total annual uh, soil loss of the study area so this is all about the way of uh, determining the rainfall erosivity factor for universal soil loss equation or for revised universal soil loss equation and uh, if you like and uh, if you are interested with uh, uh, watching this video please uh, subscribe my uh, youtube channel and share uh, for your colleagues